Hey there, chefs all around. Welcome, welcome. And I have some news for you. Because I just went to go see my dietitian like a week ago almost. And I've got a new list. They changed my list again. This is like the, what, third time they changed my list? Remember that one video, the very first video and the only video so far on the channel that that I talk about or slash mention my galactosemia, metabolic disorder? Well, they changed the list. Now, all fruit, all vegetables are considered safe, even... Some of the stuff that I never had for 20 years of my life. Don't know if I ever will. Don't know if I want to. Including the beans and peas. And I said no beans in my video. Um, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff has changed on the list or for the list. They even added some bizarre stuff that I thought I would never be able to have, which is, like, aged cheese. Which, I can understand why they would say, oh, aged cheese is safe, safer for you to eat than regular old cheese. But, I would debate all day as to whether or not I can have aged cheese or not. I don't like to eat anything that's like alternative dairy. I have had fake cheese in the past. Long story, my mom, not my mom, but it was my friend's mom. It was my friend's mom who decided it was a great idea to add alternative dairy to my diet while I went camping with, with my friend and her family. And so she at decided to add fake cheese onto the patty of my meal, and I didn't like it. It tasted like if you would if you would basically grab a yellow construction paper, cut it like it's cheese, and eat it. That's basically what it was. It was just yellow. It was just yellow square. That's all I can describe it for you. And I don't like fake cheese. Fake cheese. So I'm going to stay away from alternative dairy. I'm going to stay away from dairy in general. There are some new stuff that's like, oh, this is considered safe. And I'm like, well, I never had that for 20 years. I don't know if I'll want it. If I, if I, if there was chili out there that's like, oh yeah, this has like black beans or like baked beans, whatever. You know, I could have that because beans are now considered safe. Stuff out there, I'm not exactly 21 yet, but I'm turning 21 this year. I'm turning 21 this December. I mean, I just turned 20 like two months ago, but I, I'm turning 21 this year. It's all you need to know. I'm turning 21 this year, and there's other stuff like I could. I thought I never could have European grapes, but now they're saying all fruit, all vegetables are considered safe. So that means if I wanted to, when I turn 21, if I ever get the chance to, if I ever wanted to, I, I'm like I'm not gonna force alcohol down my throat. But if if I ever wanted to, I could try wine if I wanted, if I really wanted to. Because I was informed that wine was made from European grapes, but then I was always thinking to myself because I always thought I could I couldn't have European European grapes for twenty years of my life, and then that. W New list comes up and it's like, oh, all fruit, all vegetables are considered safe. I'm like, okay. There, there's some stuff out there that, like, I'm unsure of. I'm going to stay away from, you know. Coconuts, I'm unsure. And there's some 
weird. And when I say weird, I just mean weird names. You know, it, it, they don't look weird. I know, example, butternut squash. Butternut squash is not actually, doesn't actually have butter in it, and it's not, it's not even, like, a nut tree thing. It, it's just squash. Uh, I, I guess, I don't know. It kind of look. I guess. I, I I don't I don't know the story behind it. I'm not gonna make up some story for it, so I'm not gonna BS it because I, I don't want to like make it up and then have it be false. But th that's just an, an odd name for a squash. And I I guess I can have it now. I don't know. I just wanted to inform the channel that, hey, this is considered safe now. Even though if, I, if it's something that I may never want to try, may never want to come across, it's like they're considered safe now. So all fruits, all vegetables are considered safe, including the beans and peas are considered safe. There are some things on the list that is considered safe that I may never try, like the aged cheese. I can understand why, like the reasoning why they say aged cheese you can have, but not just regular old cheese. I can understand that. But because of my allergy, because of my complexity of my allergy, and because of how complicated I can be as a person because of, because of my allergy, I'm deciding, or I'm choosing to avoid that. Just because I'm complicated like that. And I'm very complicated when it comes to flavor as well. There's some things out there that I might not try. I might never try coconut, even though coconut is proven to be safe. Because it's considered a fruit. and But it doesn't and, I don't know, I, I, it's just complicated, it's just complicated, I don't want to get into it. It's, it's, the way my, my brain, my brain works sometimes, sometimes I, th I think too much about other stuff, and then that gets kind of in the mesh of everything, and then causes me to rethink back, and then go, wait a minute, no, I, can't, I shouldn't have this, because da 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 da, and it just gets messy. So, I didn't mean to drag you guys in this. Just wanted to say that the list has changed for the third time in my life. But anyways, I just wanted to say... I can... There, there is all fruit, all vegetables considered safe. Including the, the beans and peas if I ever wanted to try some. I, I might never try some because I've never had them in 20 years of my life. I might. I don't know. Anyways, have a nice day.